I think that's all you need, really. Your lineup, when you're looking at your team, I think also Bloodseeker really wants to play with team with a lineup that has good AoE damage. So you're warding air, so Laurel and company. They're not scared. Shield Crash is going to start things out onto FBZ. Noticed. Hasn't skilled Spear as of yet. They're going to get slowed down a bit. Looks like there is going to be a fight after all. Blood Rite. Only going to connect onto one as Io might be the one taking the brunt of this damage. Burrow Strike's going to keep him in place, trying to go for this first blood. He's healing up just a little bit, still connected to the Hawk. But it looks like first blood's going to go the way of Boom as Force Major is Dunzo. But might be a clean up here onto Jackie. Looks like the Bloodseeker will fall. This is an absolute annihilation of a first blood. Two to one advantage for Bet Boom. But we'll see how many side camps he can actually take out. There's going to be TP coming in. Yopaj oh, gets off the X. Tim's, there's the arrow. We talked about this combo. Still swash to go. Nice. Not going to be enough to get away, though. So A little bit of jet lag there on the torrent, I got to say. He was actually too late. I think so. I thought, well, did I say something different? No, I said it pre-game that Pango's been changed. I thought you couldn't permit anymore. Did they roll back that? No. no. Interesting. All right, hold that thought. Boat coming in. The Hawk is dead. Knowing that the IO is not in the area, Suneko looking to get out. He'll be successful, but they lost. I don't think it's likely that we're just going to see a team fight that's so overwhelmingly won by either side that they just transition into Roche oh. that early. Mars Arena. The yep. setup from Laurel as well gets off the swash into the shield crash. Skem trying to save his comrade as FBZ comes in, gets off the epicenter burrow strike combo, and that's going to be a turnaround kill for Boom. So Jackie ends up living. Account for eight of that armor, and then the tower aura and his nine base. X marks, X marks into, arrow. into arrow again. Yeah, Suneko gets off the glimpse, but going to only delay the inevitable in all likelihood. And Yopaj just finds the range there. That's Melee. Yep, that's Kanka. Good clean stuff. Burrow onto two, though. The Hawk gets silenced at the last moment before being able to apply any more spells. But it looks like they'll be able to clean up FBZ in all likelihood. They do just that. Yeah, that silence going onto the Hawk means it's not on the Pango. And he just. In many situations, at least, you'll be casting Rolling Thunder somewhere that the enemy team oh, has vision. FBZ, Epicenter showing off that Blink Dagger. Easy Static going. Storm is there as well. They will be able to clean up. Noticed. Pretty easily as Seneca looking to actually initiate. Gets off the glimpse on the FBZ. The Hawk coming in from the high ground. They're going to clean up that kill. So it's a one for one to start this out. Is a Soulbind onto two? Rupture to fall. It's a double rupture, I believe. But Io ends up relocating to the other side here. The Hawk gets X back, though. Still ruptured. Trying to buy as much time as he can. It's a two for one now. And it looks like the Hawk's just going to get chased down by Jackie Boy and company. So boom. Again, winning this fight in spades. I mean, it was a good execution from Bet Boom, but that that last second X, as you talked about pregame, as they're going to find even yet another kill on the Force Major. They're getting so much value out of X marking this. This will be a pretty hard kill, especially without a Blink Dagger on Mars, but there's the glimpse, and that'll be the death of oh, Tim's. That was quick. You chose the wrong guy. As we can but see, Doc Hawk, all right, price. he gets X back into the oh. ghost ship as FBZ, the Jet lag, Pearl there. Strike. Yep. Looks like they're going to get the kill on Force Major. Notice looks to be next, but Laurel and company have come to play as well. Oh Yopaj God. pops that BKB, so a big glimpse as noticed. Continuing to armlet toggle to a high degree. Yopaj, not sure if he's going to find that kill, actually gives up, but Seneko is going to be easily taken out. FBZ. Mm, yeah. He's catching Blank up. Black Dagger is up, but Burrow not for another second. And they do get it off with the blood right, just in range. Double kill for Jackie. Yeah, if you're Bet Boom, Definitely suffering, I would say, from, oh, success. Well, not that. They're suffering from a lack of initiation, I think. Oh, Laurel, he's used oh. basically every spell. Burrow misses from FBZ. Let's see if they want to turn this around, but FBZ goes deep in. We got the ghost ship coming out as well. It's actually going to connect onto Laurel because of the X marks. Down he goes to start this fight. It's going to be the trade for the Sand King, though, so we're one for one. Yopaj pops that BKB again as Dahak left to his own devices. Not sure if Io's in the area to try to relocate. Looks like it's down, so Dahak is sadly for Betboom fans. Down and out. Oh You'll see another kill on the Force Major, so they do need to play it kind of safe. I mean, typically with Pango, you'd be fine. You just pop that ult and oh, you're good to toast. go. But against the Too Rupture, late. it's oh, going to be tough. All right, gets it off. But there's a reality rift back in. Uh, yeah, he's, he's done so. That's the first kill for Bet Boom in this fight is the ghost ship coming in. It's going to connect on Suneko. The rest of his team is in the area if they actually want to fight here. Notice has his BKB ready to go, but Yopaj is going to pop his first. There's the rupture onto the Hawk. You can see Jackie trying to 
kite a little bit. Still has the Aegis for three and a half minutes. They're just going to trade BKB's galore. Glimpse back oh, in. Perfect Kanka gets X back. Very beautifully done. Doesn't really take much damage as a result. So the CK is the big death here for Bet Boom, and now the rest are attempting to back out. Spirit, oh. Jackie Boy, okay. still with the Aegis. So wants to continue to fight here. Force Major, not going to be linked up anymore. And notice, just going to get chased by Tim's in the meantime, and Force Major will be taken out as well. And notice, you can see Spirit Vessel applied, attempting to TP out. Burrow cancels it. Damn. And another four for one because they lost the Grim early. Do those? Aegis is still there for a minute. Good spear. Spear, yep. Yeah, but they're going to scout him out with the burrow. Arrow is not going to hit. See the kinetic field is placed. There's the rupture, but the save comes in. Nicely done from Io. And Seneko not going to be so lucky, though. Io's going to die here as well. There's literally no way they will get out. They might try to fight. We'll see if it ends up being the sacrifice. Mistimes the arrow by a, a full jet second. Lag there. Yeah, jet lag arrow there from Timps. Do dare to venture up here, they're definitely going to be holding their ground. There's no way they're not willing to take this fight, even without an Aegis. They just have so many tools. Yep, Rupture oh, on to Laurel. Laurel. Blood right. Lord. And he shield crashes, but to no avail. BKB even forced from Jackie. In the meantime, the Hawk okay, trying to get as much damage. damage as he can out to Kanka. Looks like he'll be able to get it. So one for one in favor of Bed Boom. Epi is next them. on the list. Glimpse onto Skem. This is going to be the third kill for Bed Boom, so a little bit overconfidence from Boom overall. You're probably expecting something from them. That's been working just fine for Boom so far, you gotta say. And this will be a maybe dead notice. Yeah, Soulbind onto two. Save. Nice save from Io as FBZ ends up wasting that BKB. Ghost ship coming in though. It's gonna hit onto the Mars as CK trying to focus as much as he can onto the Bloodseekers. Laurel getting a nice rolling thunder as well into the Swatch. Jackie, boys, all right. He's gonna pop the BKB, attempting to run away. Gets off the rupture. He's gonna get taken out though in the end by Noticed. And the Swash is there. I think FBZ should be fine. So another fight going the way of Bet Boom Syndrome. Damn, and boom know this, so they're going to smoke themselves. Oh, boy. This could get oh. very spicy Ooh. if they break on the enemy high ground here. Yopage just, there he breaks. Oh, they break, Force Major knows. There's the jump in from Notice, gets off the spear. BKB to follow, has the arena. It's going to connect only onto one as Yopage Pops that BKB, and it looks like the Rolling Thunder's wasted, so Bed Boom might have to just reset. Although they're going to use the Glimpse onto the sea, onto the Sand King. And there's the Phantasm to follow. BKB from Duffhawk is enough as Jackie trying to one-man that CK. Looks like he's going to get chased down, potentially. Moonlight Shadow is there. Boat coming in. Not going to be enough damage mitigation for him to survive through this. Inkswell healing up a good oh amount because God. of that shard. He he's just so turned this around completely. That's two kills. He's at full HP now. Oh man, that shard what? from the Inkswell absolutely saved his life. So a big turnaround just at the end for Boom. It looks like they were gonna lose that fight though. Missed oh, time the arrow by two seconds this time. <laughs> the jet lag's getting a little bit worse for Boom, but they still find the kill in the end. The world that My goodness. You can see the, the nerf to the shard from CK is so noticeable by the way. Yeah. You're not casting that, that strike from a million range now. What they, they might do just need to this? give this up. Nope, they're going to jump in with the spear, still with the Aegis, though, so they're going to expend the Phantasm at the very least. And Laurel, already in his ulti form, FBZ, trying to counter-initiate with the Inkswell and the Epicenter to follow, but there's the Mars Arena from Notice. They're going to get Soulbound. It's only connected onto him, though. Looks like he's going to be taken out in turn, but it's still only the first kill of this fight. Static Storm is there. Dahak focusing on the Bloodseeker. He's not doing anything because he doesn't have an MKB yet. Pops a BKB, trying to limp away. Gets Lincoln's, in fact. Looks like he will live, but the Rax is going to have to be sacrificed here for Bet Boom. Buyback onto Io and Boom themselves. Looking to potentially reset, but there he, ooh, that's actually an Aghanim Scepter onto Laurel. Lincoln's ends up blocking the Burrow. Arrow here. Arrow connects because of the X, and that is going to be an easy cleanup for Boom, and that's a big, big kill. You see the Shiva's online for FBZ. Oh, boy. It's off no, the Burrow Strike at the last moment. Insta dieback. Is that a tidal wave? Dahak is done. That's it. And the dieback for Mars, that is going to be GG's call. So Boom take game one. A little bit sloppy, but, I mean, they started out the gates with a massive, massive laning advantage. And that's despite the jet lags, <laughs> as we've talked about many a time. Yeah, they will play a 5 So how, how does this hero work in this today's meta? Like, do you still, because... Oh, uh, you can save people from Arrow. 
So. Are we going to see another 5v5 fight? Smoke oh. is broken. They have the vision, but the hawk is on the other side of the cliff because of the nice ice shards. Yopaj getting extremely low, though, so doesn't look like Boom want to engage any further. They will get the deny on their own ward, it seems. Slowly but steadily. Yep, slowly. And Bet Boom want to try to contest this, and they're going to do so in spades. Scam getting extremely low. FBZ, Burrow Strike onto two with a level one spell. That is actually very difficult to do. He's going to get split earth, but Bet Boom end up getting the first blood this time around. It's going to be a trade for Jack. Oh, Jackie, I should say. It's a two for one in the end as Mars goes down third, but. And then in the bot lane, the one lane we haven't really talked about is the Burrow Strike is there. Seneko trying to get saved by Dahak. But the Inkswell connects. Seneko looks like he's going to limp away. And FBZ's FBZ done. just getting right clicked down. And Seneko gets credit for that one. So yet another kill for Bet Boom. Uh, failing the pull here as well for FBZ, not good. And Laurel wants to try to find a four minute rune. Yopaj is here though. And. With the coupling of scam, okay, they're actually gonna turn this around with the rotation from Seneko. Yopaz goes down. Running. And you cast a lightning storm and an edict, you just kill all terrible solutions and he has to give up to you, so. Right. Uh oh, Seneko, Seneko he's probably dead looks here. Looks to be dead, although Laurel's coming in. Has that Pulse Nova going? They're gonna lose their support. But if they get Yopaj in turn, this is a big, big trade that Bed Boom will take every single time. And even as Seneko sacrificing himself again, although Mars is coming. Snowball's there, but Seneko keeping himself alive thanks to the Decrepify finally goes down. But again, if they get this trade onto Yopaz, they will take this. This is amazing for Bed Boom. They keep losing their position five. But oh, we're going to try to brute force this bottom tower for Boom, but I yeah, love that they want to defend in. this. This will be a big kill onto Jackie if they can find it, but there's a snowball to keep him alive a little bit longer. FPZ with the nice epicenter to follow. Do you have the Sunder? No. That is a dead Terrorblade. Yopaj gets stunned from afar, sets up the split earth, and yet another death for him. Tim's does get out, but these are just the supports we're talking about because the position one and two for Boom are donezo. Oh, you have five boots. That's very good. <laughs> that doesn't even sound passive aggressive. Oh. That sounds very positive, actually. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> All right, Hood popped prematurely from Laurel. He feels this coming. Epicenter is coming as well. Pops the BKB. Oh. Inside the Mars Arena, huge rebuke. Two dead right off the bat for Boom. Jackie attempting to get out. Not going to happen. Triple kill for the Hawk. See you later. That was so... That was All right, we see the split earth shard come out to basically Arrow be used as fishing. protection. Not yeah, they hitting. get a little bit of vision here. There's the walrus punch onto Laurel, but you can see the heals. He still has his BKB. He still has his Aegis. Notice comes in with the BKB and the Mars Arena as well. They do get the Aegis at the very least, and it's a trade for the DP, but the double kill for the Hawk already starts us out in favor of Bet Boom. And this is likely to be the GG push for them in game number two, which, like you said, they should be happy with this result going into this because, boom, one of the favorite teams at this major as a whole. Yeah, I would definitely say so. Laurel has to be a little bit careful now. Still has BKB, but no Aegis to work with. Uh, Jackie gets brought back in. Nice split Earth miss. <laughs> Sorry, I meant to say save. nice <laughs> snowball save. <laughs> It doesn't matter. The GGs are called for God's sake. This game was over for quite a while. This was a Gaben, I believe a mustache shellacking. Uh, that, was pretty, that was a pretty hard ass beat down. They beat them by. Yeah, stop. Wasting my time. Trying to get mine. Get out the way. Move. Trying to get paid. Bands on the way. Just bought a safe. Ooh. Crib with a gate. I need me a leg, but that's on the way. Ooh. Yeah, that's on the way.